Now to our neighborhood impact. More Nashville homeowners will be eligible for the property tax freeze program. Now income thresholds are increasing this year. We spoke with Metropolitan Trustee Erica S. Gilmore about that and the tax relief program. Thanks for being with us here on News 2 at 3. First of all, I just want to ask you, what are the property tax freeze program and the tax relief program? Thank you so much for asking that question. Those are programs that are dedicated to our older adults that are 65 years or age of older. The tax relief is a program that actually pays towards the property taxes. So there's monies allocated towards a person's property taxes. A tax freeze is where the amount is actually frozen. So if a person 65 years or older and they qualify and they live in the house as their primary residence, if their property taxes were $2,000 and we had a reassessment, which is going to happen uh, 2025, or the tax rate were to increase, even if it went up, theirs would still remain $2,000 if they qualify. We have about fifteen dollars to $1,600 we put towards people's property tax as it relates to tax relief. So one is actual monies and one is actually just freezing the amount. And the good thing is that some people can qualify for both the relief and the freeze. And the eligibility criteria has changed a little bit. So now it, more people qualify. That is right. That's what we're really excited about. That is what we're really excited about. So for tax freeze, the current um, eligibility is $47,750. But after July the 24th of this year, it will be sixty thousand dollars and we're just really excited because everything has been increasing in nashville and now we have the tax um, freeze amount to increase with it so that more people can qualify they need to live in the house as their primary residence they have to be 65 years or age or older unless um, persons can qualify for tax relief if they're 100 disabled veteran and that's something that they get through the va but otherwise if it's the primary residence and now the income, as we have discussed, has been increased to the new amount of $60,000 and their name is on the deed and the total income on that deed does not exceed $60,000. They just come on in and we'll get them signed up. And of course, there's some other things that they need in terms of documentation, such as driver's license, a Medicaid card, and one month's bank statement. And do you have an in-person sign up event coming up? Yes, we do. Yes. So we know that sometimes coming to the city, driving through the city, I was driving today, right? It can be a little cumbersome. So we are dedicated. I am dedicated to visiting every part of this city, every angle, every east, north, west, and south area. And so we're actually going to the Southeast Community Center. We'll be there on Monday the 11th. And we'll be there from 11 a.m. to 1. And I'm just really excited about it because we will have people on site to sign people up. Well, Erica Gilmore, thanks so much for joining us with this very important information. Thank you so much. And thank you for doing this. We greatly appreciate it. It's going to help our residents of Nashville and Davidson County so much. So thank you. Now, applications for the programs this tax season, those are due April 5th. But the new qualifying income limit, that begins July 24th for next tax season. To watch this interview again, you can look up this segment on our website under the Watch tab. Just click on Latest Video and look for Neighborhood Impact.